today we are heading out to the famous Great Wall. We didn't get up super duper early like I know you're supposed to, but we've just been enjoying having lions recently. But it's about three hours to get there if you take public transport. So first of all, we're gonna head to a shop and get some snacks because that's gonna be a long journey. Jenny's sporting the backpack today. It'll be your job again. In about 10 minutes. Yeah. So the backpack is now full of stuff, which means it's my turn to take the backpack again. We're gonna head to the metro now. I think it's only about a 10 minute walk. And uh, we've then got a sequence of other buses to take after that. Bought ourselves an iced latte so that we have enough energy because this is gonna be a long day. We have to settle in for what might be an hour and a half or two hour journey on this bus. Seems air conditioned, seems relatively comfortable. So the reason that we're taking this journey is because there are lots of different sections of the wall that you can visit. There's one called Bideling, which is what 75% of the people yeah. go to. Yeah. Then there's one called Mutai. Mutinyu. Yes, and that's where we're going. And so it should be a little bit quieter. It's still quite busy. They still have a cable bar. But the other sections that are further away and really, really quiet, where you're gonna find basically nobody, where the wall is much more wild and less rebuilt, are just a little bit too far to get to from Beijing on a day trip. You kind of have to stay nearby or Go on a private Take tour. a tour, which costs like a lot, a lot more, you know, at least $50 each. So it can actually add up to be quite an expensive trip, and we're on a budget, so we're trying to do it as cheaply as we can. So these buses are meant to be every 10 minutes, and we've been here almost half an hour. I'm worried this might become a bit like the saga we had in Hong Kong with all the buses being cancelled. But the bus stop's getting a bit busier now, so I'm hoping we're in the right place and this bus is actually going to come soon. Okay. So in the end we just gave up. The bus never came and we got in a taxi with some guy who we agreed 30 for four people. We found, uh, we met some other people at the bus stop basically. Um, and then as soon as we got in, he then said it was gonna be 40. So we've made it here now. I think it's a short walk. First the ticket office and then up to the wall. We have two tickets. Ticketing system's actually a bit confusing here. It costs 40 yuan to go in, but you can get a special ticket, which is like a postcard, which costs 45 yuan. We weren't really given the option. And then on top of that, you have to pay 15 yuan for the shuttle bus, which goes from here to where the cable car starts. I think it's about half an hour. And then you have to pay for the cable car on top of that, which is 120 for a return trip or 100 for a single journey, which again, we've heard online that you can walk it in about 40 minutes, although someone said over an hour. So we've got some time, it's only 1 p.m. We're gonna see what we can do. We're gonna walk to the base, then walk up the, to the wall ourselves, save a bit of money, get fit on the way as well. We just had to think about it and we think remem remember that this route is actually two kilometer walk. And then we have the walk up the wall, so. And then the walk along the wall. Yeah, we're gonna be doing a lot of walking today. We made it to the ticket check area. Uh, but now we have to climb up another big hill. So I've managed to talk Robbie into getting the cable car, which I'm very happy about. The way I'm thinking is although we travel on a budget, this is the Great Wall of China and I don't want to spend like an hour climbing up this huge hill to then not enjoy myself at the top because I'm like really hot and sweaty. Actually, we're not in a cable car. We're in like a ski lift that is swinging around quite a lot. Great Wall of China. I am very pleased and proud of us. It's not too busy either. Everyone said it was going to be crazy busy even here and it looks fine. So I'm pretty happy about that. So now we can get out and explore.
online, people say that it's so busy here. Like, they compare it to battling and say it's less busy, but say, oh, it's still horribly crowded. But there's virtually no one here. I wonder if it has anything to do with us coming later in the day. Yeah. Because I feel like you're always told, get there as early as you can because it gets so busy. But if everyone's told that, I feel like everyone gets here early and all the tours will get here by like 9 or 10. So I think coming and getting here about 1pm is actually the best, the best thing. Yeah, it's the best time to come because everyone else has already walked around the whole wall and is going home for lunch. We found a really nice, quiet, peaceful spot in one of the watchtowers. I think this is the corner tower. It's the end of the eastmost end of the wall here, Mutinyau, Mutinya, you? <laughs> I can't, can't say it. it. Uh, but we're going to tuck into a Snickers each and then an apple each. We've got some more it's food for later. Snickers yeah. and an apple. Also, we're sat here in the window with like a really lovely view of a bit more of a overgrown part of the wall, a bit that's not so preserved, so it's a little bit more dilapidated. And it's so pretty. I think if you were to stay like quite a while in Beijing or in China, it'd be nice to come and stay somewhere near the wall, go and visit a few different areas of it. There are some parts which are really completely destroyed essentially. There are actually some parts like that which you can stay on the wall, like you can camp on the wall, yeah. but it's really expensive so that's why we didn't do that. that's quite interesting but maybe also a little bit sad is that when the revolution happened and the People's Republic of China was formed local governments and local people surrounding the wall were encouraged to take stones from it to help build buildings homes hospitals and things like that so it actually contributed a lot to the destruction of the wall although they have done their best to kind of preserve a lot of the sections since then so one other really interesting thing we found out about this part of the wall is that they have crenellations, which are these like defensive bits on each side. And that's because this part of the wall apparently was attacked quite a lot from both sides. So they designed it like this, whereas other parts of the wall, one side has the crenellations and then one side is like completely flat. So we didn't mention it, but the real reason we bought the chairlift tickets rather than the cable car tickets on the way up it's because the way down is a lot more exciting yep the way down is a toboggan didn't have such boring slow people in front of us. We were like racing down and we kept having to stop because they were going at like one mile an hour. Why are you on a toboggan if you're going that slow? Anyway, still highly recommended. But we're now done. Unfortunately, that's our time at the Great Wall of China done. We are now going to make our way back to Beijing. We hopefully can find a way back into town because that bus wasn't working. It might be a little bit boring to watch though, so we'll see you there. So we made it back from Beijing. It was super easy, much easier than the way actually, and we managed to get a bus, we didn't have to pay for a taxi. Our original plan was just to go to 7-Eleven, get a ready meal, and then head back home and do some editing. But instead, we found this food market where you could choose the different kinds of sections of food that you wanted with rice. And the guy spoke English and the signs were in English, so we headed straight in. Both of our meals were 36 yuan between us, so it was really cheap, 
So after having a bit of an expensive day, that was something that Rob was very pleased about. Because we know he likes to watch some money. Yeah. Um, I think we're going to end the video here though. We had a really great day exploring the Great Wall. Um, and if you liked this video, please do give us a thumbs up. And if you really liked the video, please subscribe so that you can see more. Bye!